Hello everyone and welcome back to my channel. Today I will be checking in for week 3 of March, which is from the 17th through the 24th. As you can see, not very many expenses here. We are practicing self-isolation, I guess you could say. So I have been inside, not really doing much. So most of these are online purchases or groceries. So let's go ahead and just first, I'm going to flip through to see if there's anything else that we can check off or fill in. So up first is Fidelity, which is a bill which already came out, so I'm going to check that off. Again, like I mentioned in my previous video, Metro, which is for my monthly Metro Pass, since classes are switched to an online capacity, I will not be purchasing a Metro Pass because I will not be going in. So this money is saved for this month. All the rest of this gets filled out at the end of the month. So let's go into the check-in here. The first category that I spent money in this month, or this week, excuse me, is crafting. And that I actually purchased some pictures from Walgreens, which is right here. That was $20.32. So let's check that off. And I figured since I will be stuck inside and kind of bored, I figured I might step up my scrapbooking and get caught up because I am a little over a year behind in that, but I digress. So that is $20.32. And crafting is a sinking fund. So I had $25.34 in there. So I have $5.02 remaining. So needless to say, oops, that was a bad too. I will probably not be purchasing any more in crafting this month. Honestly, I have enough supplies to last me a while, and the really the thing that I really just needed is pictures, and I definitely have enough to last me through the end of this month, so if I do need to repurchase anything, I can do that in April when I have the money for it. So I should be good with crafting. And then the last category that I spent money in for my personal account, not uh, joint, is spending. So I purchased um, something for, I actually purchased The Sound of Music, it was on sale for $13 at Target when we went, so that is $13. So I'm going to check off Target because the other categories are joint and those have been tracked already. And then I went to McDonald's for lunch one day, or I guess I got it for takeout. Um, so that's $4.81. So this week I spent $17.81 from my spending category. And I had $64.97 remaining. So now I have $47.16 remaining. And like I said, similar to crafting, this should be okay for the rest of the month. I have enough to keep me busy. And if um, I need to purchase anything, I'll probably just wait till next month, honestly. Um, and then this will just go into my overflow or I guess the, uh, what's it called? Uh, snowball. My dad snowball because we went way over in some of our joint categories. So this, as well as the Metro money that I would have spent on it that I mentioned previously, will probably go into balancing out what we went over from our joint. So I'm going to try to keep that as low as possible. And then that leaves everything else checked off of this week. So my personal has been taken care of. So let's move to the joint. So as you can see here, I've already tracked all the items. We're all caught up in our transaction log. Sinking funds gets filled in at the end of the month. Same with variable. The only bill that's left is AT&T, and that normally comes out today when I'm filming this. However, for some reason, online it says the bill is coming out the 29th. Not sure why it changed, but I'm not going to check it off. Even though the due date has passed, it's auto pay. I'm not going to check it off until the money actually comes out. So... That is all for my week three check, excuse me, week three check-in for the month of March. Go ahead and hit that like and subscribe button and I will see you next time. Thanks for watching and have a good day. Bye-bye.